welcome to Agley and B. Today I'm here to show you number seven Rosegate, which is a fabulous four bedroom detached bungalow which sits um, in a quite a prominent location within this, um, this street. Now the location is great, it's a short distance from Carlisle, you've got excellent transport links to the A69, um, so you can be across in Newcastle in no time, to Brampton, to Carlisle and onto the M6, so a great place to be. Now this property has been lived in by the current owners um, since it was built in 1975 so it is in need of some modernisation in parts but the spaces are great. We've got four bedrooms, a lovely open plan dining kitchen, a really good sized lounge, large entrance hallway and we've got a garage that you can see behind me there which would fit a couple of vehicles but it's also got um, a mezzanine level storage and loft space which extends right across the whole of the property. We've got gardens on all sides and as you can see a very good looking bungalow. So let me take you um, now show you the street scene and then I'm going to take you inside and just show you what this property could offer you. Okay so this is number seven Rosegate so I'm just going to pan around and show you. So as you come into the development um, there's a good mix of bungalows and detached houses in Rosegate. Um, but this house sits proudly at the end of the cul-de-sac on the turning circle here. So as you can come around we've got neighbours none that compromise your property and none that affect your view out to this lovely central lawn area with a tree here. So as you can see as we approach we've got off-road parking for a good number of vehicles and a great size double garage um, straight ahead of us here. Now I'm going to take you into the property first of all and then I'll come back outside and show you the gardens but as you can see it sits in a good sized plot and it's beautifully presented. We've got this lovely coloured stone faced um, finish here and we've got double glazing throughout. We've got this fabulous um, porch which has got nice archways, perfect to take wellies and boats, boots and coats off before you come into the house. So let me take you in and show you around. So we first of all come into a really nice and wide entrance hallway. So plenty of space here for um, further furniture, a sideboard. I think the vendors used to have a piano here as well. So plenty of space. And as you can see, um, we come straight into the right, into this really large lounge. Now from the lounge, light streams into here. You've got large picture window, which overlooks the street there across your lawn over the hedge. And then we've got a window that looks out onto the side as well. But I'm just going to step back and show you this space because it really is a great size lounge. So then we're going to go back into the hallway. And the hallway does extend round and leads down to the bedrooms at the bottom there. But I'm going to take you into the kitchen first of all. So this is a great space. It may be in need of some modernisation, but what you've got here in terms of space is super. We've got space for a large dining table here and a breakfast bar. And then we've got a, a good sized kitchen area. But just look at the size of these windows. When the property was built, the vendors really have tried to get as much light into here as possible. The property is completely private, as you can see, as we go across to the kitchen sink. We're looking out over your lawn. We've got a nice hedge there, but we're not, um, it's not too dark. So a really good sized kitchen, integrated hob, integrated double oven, great um, cabinets here, which could be painted. It's, um, it is a super kitchen. So a good sized dining kitchen. To the right here, we've got a small utility room space and a doorway which leads out to the rear. So in here, we've got space for a freestanding fridge freezer, uh, for a washing machine, more cabinets and a sink there. And now I'm gonna take you down the inner hallway. So as we approach um, the hallway, we've got a couple of bedrooms, one on each side. So these are smaller double rooms. So this one looks over the front. And as you would expect with most rooms, we've got a carpeted floor and we've got a radiator in here as well. But each room also does have a fitted storage cupboard. Um, so you've got plenty of storage in this property. Then across the hallway, we've got another bedroom of a similar size. Um, again, with a fitted wardrobe. This time we look out to the garden. Then either side of the hallway here, we've got some storage cupboards. One's got shelving and the other one's got the Baxi combi boiler in there as well. Then we've got the family bathroom. Now I love this bathroom. Um, I love the, the colour. Um, it may not suit your requirements, but if you look at the space, you can see we've got space for a walk-in shower, space for a bath and a 
hand basin and a loo there and another large window they've made use of the space here by putting a full wall of mirrors in and to the right hand side we've also got a really deep airing cupboard so uh, a, a good size bathroom then we've got bedroom number three. So this is where the two, the in two bedrooms are really spacious. This one, again, a really large window overlooking the front. But as you can see, we're not, nobody's looking into us. So we're not um, overlooked whatsoever. And in here, we've got space for a large bed, space for plenty of furniture. And in the corner there, a fitted wardrobe. So another really good sized bedroom. And then yet another. So we've got four bedrooms in total. These two bigger ones at this end have got fitted, double fitted wardrobes and the other two have got single. Um, and again, this one goes out to the, the window to the back. So internally, you need a little bit of modernisation, but it is completely ready to move into. So it's just redecoration. There's nothing structurally that needs doing. This is um, a super home on a, a desirable location. You've got excellent transport links, as I said earlier. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you outside, um, just so that we can show you how we can walk all the way around the property. So I'm just going to take you out, we're going to go to the left first of all. So you can see to the front here we've got a nice area of um, some established trees and shrubs, a lovely hedge and a nice area of lawn to the front, which actually makes you sit back from the turning circle quite well. Then coming around to the side, we've got another area of lawn. We've got a path which goes all the way around. So really easy accessibility um, to the garden. And then we've got further lawn to the back here. Now you can see just in front of the hedge there, there is a, a border which looks to have some established trees and shrubs. So I'm sure that will be full of colour in the summer months. And then as we go along, that was the door there just into the utility room. I'm going to take you now into another area which is it's really spacious and there's lots of potential here so this is into the double garage so it's accessed from either the double doors at the front which have got an electric fob or through this door here but this space is um is huge perfect if you're looking to house a couple of vehicles you've got an inspection pit there or it could potentially subject to planning be converted into the main house because you do have lots of off-road parking in the corner, we've got a little WC there. So you've got a loo in here. But then above us, I'm just going to try and go up the ladder um, and not be too wobbly. But you've got some storage space, which is quite special. Um, so I'm going to just go up the ladder here and show you the space that we've got up here. So this is completely boarded with lights. And it runs the extent of the whole of the property. So again, subject to planning, there's usable space here if you wanted to use, um, use it for whatever your needs may be. Perfect for storage though, for all those things that you don't want in your, in your house. So this is a great size double garage, plenty of room for a vehicle, plenty of room for, for storage and access from the front and from the back. Then we're just going to take you back out and I'm going to take you around to the opposite side of the house. So as we go around here, we've got an area for, for green bins and we've got a lovely terrace area to the side here. In the corner there, we've just got a small outhouse which has been used as a potting shed for a lawnmower and for your recycling. And this area here could be used for further um, for the parking if you wanted to or as a nice sheltered seating area. You've got a nice area of lawn up here too. So if um, if you're looking for a property that is in a location which has got excellent transport links, is completely low maintenance, and you're looking um, for a bungalow, then please do give us a call on 01768 88 1111 and we'll be happy to help you.